Hey guys! In the previous video, I shared my journey from Beijing to Zhang Jiajie, where we explored to Secheng and then took a high speed train to Furong Station. Upon arriving at our hotel, we encountered a dining challenge since many dishes contained pork. Fortunately, there was a halal restaurant where I enjoyed some delicious noodles. Later, my roommate and I joined the exploration. However, by the time we reached the main diet, it required tickets, and with time and tiredness, we missed the chance to see the place beautifully illuminated at night. The next morning, we embarked on an adventure, starting the day by a simple boiled egg. Last night, we had an unwelcome visitor in our room, a massive cockroach accompanied by some tiny bugs. Our attempts to seek help in the seemingly deserted hotel lobby led us to take matters in our own hands. We found a bug spray and unleashed it in the bathroom, which not only dealt with the bugs but also triggered a bad allergy. After some sneezing and allergy pills, we finally managed to get some rest. Anyways, we purchased our tickets. Two days admission cost 120 RMB, but... Thanks to a 50% student discount, we only paid 60 RMB. And since I don't have an identity card, I had to show my passport and the student ID. The place itself was captivating with unique streets and an entirely different atmosphere. Now, let me tell you a bit about this town. Furong town is a charming ancient town nestled in Hunan province. It's celebrated for its breathtaking natural landscapes and impeccably preserved traditional Chinese architecture. The town features historic streets lined with traditional shops, inviting tea houses and delightful eateries. A stroll through these streets feels like a journey back in time. The town is very famous for its stilted wooden houses perched gracefully above the river. These houses, besides the charm, serve a practical purpose by safeguarding against floods.
Among the town's main highlights is the mesmerizing Furang waterfall, named after the town itself. This picturesque waterfall, enveloped by lush greenery, is a favored destination for the visitors. After soaking in the town's Indians, our teacher summoned us back to the hotel. Our next stop was supposed to be Pyeongchang, which I've already shared on the channel. Following that, we were all set for our ultimate destination, Aijai, where we spent an eventful week. Stay tuned for more adventures in the next video. See you in the next vlog. Bye.